This video clip shows how we adapt a distillation setup to perform a vacuum distillation. The equipment is largely the same as for any distillation, but you'll notice something called an air bleed on the left, which we'll look at in more detail in a minute. And on the right, you can see that we've attached our receiver to a water aspirator, which allows us to put the whole apparatus under vacuum. We still have a thermometer in the still head, and our condenser is set up for distillation as per normal. In order to make our air bleed, we take a glass pasta pipette, and we heat the narrow end in a Bunsen flame until it softens. We can then pull on it to draw it out into a fine capillary. We then break this off at an appropriate point and we house the pipette in a screw cap adapter as shown. We can then insert this into one neck of the flask so that the air bleed is dipping into the liquid. And here you can see the apparatus is currently under vacuum and with the air bleed in place a small amount of air is being drawn into the flask. This bubbling prevents the solution from bumping which is safer in this case than using an anti-bumping granule. If we have an air sensitive reaction, we can also use a nitrogen bleed by connecting our pipette to a nitrogen line. Do make sure that you follow the instructions that you've been given, as different procedures and equipment may be used in different settings. In any case though, the overall process will be very similar to that of any distillation that you've performed.